Hi kids. Okay, Halloween Resurrection, uh, released 2002. This is four years since the release of Halloween H2O. Uh, so in H2O, I talked about how uh, Jamie Lee Curtis uh, made a deal with that film, with the ending, what she wanted to happen. She agreed to be in the film as long as she kills Michael Myers and ends it. But she couldn't contractually. Michael Myers can't die. So uh, they agreed on a compromise. As long as at the end of the film, uh, Laurie believes and the audience believes that Michael's been killed, she will do that. And then she agrees that she will come back for the next film, this one, Resurrection. And it will be revealed that da, Michael didn't die. And therefore, Laurie will be uh, extremely upset that she killed someone who's not Michael. So she will be in a mental institution. And then she, her agreement is then, then Laurie dies. So that's what we have here. That's the compromise. So we see in the film, spoilers, uh, that Michael has replaced himself with an EMT. He crushed his larynx. Uh, that's who Laurie uh, cuts the head off of her ex. Uh, so this one also went through a couple different drafts of the screenplay. Um, at one point, um, Aaron Kruger talked about him in the Scream 3 video. Uh, so he was the writer of Scream 3. Uh, he did a draft of Halloween Resurrection, both properties owned by Miramax. They didn't go with his draft. Um, and then Rick Rosenthal is hired to be our director. Uh, this is the eighth Halloween film, right? Yeah. This is the first time we have a director returning. Uh, Rosenthal was the director of Halloween 2. If you remember that video, I talked about how John Carpenter had to go in and do some reshoots because he didn't feel like uh, Rosenthal made anything scary. He had to add scary scenes and he had to add some uh, gore to the death scenes to make it up to the standards of 80s slashers. So Rosenthal is back. Uh, Rosenthal, Halloween 2, there's lots of uh, shots of hallways and there's lots of shots of hallways in this one too. So he loves uh, hallway shots. Hey, that's what you want in your Halloween movies, right? Uh, Halloween, the hallway. Okay, so uh, what happens in this one? Well, I already told you some of it. Lori is in the sanitarium, pretending to be uh, out of it, catatonic, but she's not taking her medication. Uh, she's just waiting for Michael to return because she didn't kill him, so he returns. And he kills her. And then, uh, so Lori is dead in this timeline again. Uh, so then, we go to Haddonfield High School. We introduce our new final girl and her friends. Uh, they landed a spot on some uh, murder Um So Busta Rhymes has a reality TV show that they have secured a spot on, going to be filmed in the Michael Myers residence on Halloween, um, similar to a Halloween five, six, uh, where there's the shock jock and he wants to uh, do his radio show from the Myers residence. So now we have a reality show from the Myers residence, a uh, little bit like Big Brother. Uh, so this is 2002 now. Reality TV is a big thing, so you got to capitalize on that. Uh, it's also a little bit like an escape room because um, most of the stuff in the, uh, the house that they're investigating planted there for them to figure out the mystery. But guess what? Michael shows up and he starts picking them off one by one um, on a live stream. Um, but Michael Myers is no match for the Busta Foo. The Busta Rhymes, Busta Notes, Kung Fu. He like spin kicks Michael Myers in the face. Uh, this one, yeah, it's uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, 
So we get our final girl. Um, I, I'm guessing that the series was going to introduce this character, Sarah character, and she was supposed to be uh, the new Lori, and we would continue on the franchise with Sarah and her continually new group of friends that they get murdered. Uh, so Sarah's the final girl, uh, but also we have Buster survives. So the black guy uh, makes it to the end of the film. Uh, the black girl, unfortunately, uh, Tyra Banks, was killed off screen. Uh, anyways, uh, and then this, of course, ends with Michael's dead. Oh, we're in the morgue. Oh, look, he opens his eyes. Michael will return. They should, might as well just put Michael will return in Halloween 9. Um, so, yeah, this one is uh, very much of the internet age. Got cell phones, what texting used to look like their kidlets. A reality TV, um, and this one is sort of a, uh, a pre-true crime era. Uh, see sort of hints towards true crime in their uh, murdertainment. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for Halloween Resurrection. Uh, do you like Halloween Resurrection? Where do you rank it in the Halloween films? Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.